are the seven risk reduction strategies before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. It is at the very forefront of all risk reduction strategies that the residents should be well informed about the potential hazards within their community, the ways to minimize risks when faced with these hazards, and that the residents are motivated to take action to lessen the impact of these risks. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I post a new informative video like this. While most of us are informed about risk reduction strategies that we can make use of on the onset of earthquakes, not much is taught about how to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe when a volcanic eruption happens. This is, of course, alarming because volcanoes pose an unpredictable array of dangers. While some volcanoes explode with utmost force, others have streams of lava flowing down their side. Consequently, this may lead to other health issues. Volcanic Ash Falls as forwarded by the International Volcanic Health Hazards Network IVE, are proven to exacerbate pre-existing lung diseases, such as asthma, and also may increase the risk of having lung diseases, with prolonged exposure to it. All the more, foreign bodies in the eyes may also cause eye diseases, such as corneal abrasion and conjunctivitis. It is for this reason that this video is made. Here are 7 ways to reduce the risks of hazards before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. Before the eruption. Unlike earthquakes which happen suddenly, there are early warnings that a volcano is going to erupt soon. That is also why you get to at least of time to prepare before the actual eruption. Here are the essential things you should do. 1. Prepare all the emergency toolkits you are going to need. As much as possible, make sure that you have an emergency toolkit prepared at home. Those will surely come in handy when you need them. The table below summarizes what your emergency toolkit should contain. Do your best to have all these prepared before the occurrence of the eruption. Here are the contents of emergency toolkit. First aid kits. Band-aids, sterile gauze pads, roller bandages, gloves, alcohol, cloth tape, antiseptic wipe, essential medicines, loperamide, aspirin, painkillers antibiotics, ointments, hygiene items, soap, hand sanitizer or alcohol, tissue, sanitary pad, extra clothes and beddings, water if you have enough room to store more, just keep stocking up, flashlight with extra battery and or candles and matches, or lighter, important documents, proof of address, birth certificates, passport, SSS, Lend Title, Multi-Purpose Pocket Knife, Can Opener, Face Mask, Preferably N95, Small Face Towels Note, You Can Still Make Use of the Surgical Face Mask. Just add two layers of tissue inside, and its effect is close to that of N95, Battery Powered Radio. Food, Not Less Than 3 Days Worth of Supply. Goggles, For Eye Protection. 2. Know your community safety plan. If you are living in or near a danger zone, make sure that you know the latest advisories and warnings from your local authority. Turn on your radio or your television to keep yourself updated. Take note of the location of the evacuation area. If advised to stay home for a while, then stay home for a while until further notice that you have to leave. 3. Establish contact with your loved ones and prepare an evacuation plan. Establish contact with your family members, informing them about your exact location and exact details of what is happening near you. Depending on its weight, ashes can collapse a roof and also can block airways making it difficult for you to breathe. As such, during volcanic unrest, it is never advisable to stay at home for too long. And so, after establishing contact, Immediately discuss arrangements and or assign responsibilities to your loved ones to make the most out of the limited time you have as you proceed to the evacuation site. During the eruption. 4.1 If you are outdoors during the eruption, stay out of restricted zones. If you are outdoors during the eruption, do your best to stay out of restricted zones. Mud flows and lava flows are more than likely to pass in low-lying areas, so avoid low-lying areas. As much as possible. Settle for higher grounds too. Cover your mouth with a handkerchief or any cloth as you seek for help to prevent yourself from inhaling ashes. 4.2. 
If you are indoors during the eruption, close all your windows and doors. If it is the case that you are at home during the eruption, immediately close all your doors and windows to prevent ashes from getting inside. After which, turn on your radio or television, and take heed of further instructions from authorities. The National Geographic also notes that you must immediately change your clothes into long-sleeved shirts and long pants. Ashes, rocks, and other debris could fall from any direction. Minimize its potential impacts on your skin by wearing those. 5. Follow the evacuation orders issued by the authority. If the authorities tell you to leave your home, leave immediately and go to the evacuation site. Follow their instructions. It may seem safe to stay at home and it may be hard to leave all your belongings behind, but doing so could be very dangerous and risky. Volcanoes emit hot dangerous ashes, gases, lava, and rocks that are not only destructive but also can be detrimental to you and your loved one's health. As noted earlier, prolonged exposure to volcanic ashes can lead to respiratory problems and cause you to contract eye diseases. As such, it is safer to follow the evacuation order than to risk staying at home and getting trapped. If you have children with you, be vigilant for they may be tempted to go out to see what is happening outside. After the eruption. 6. Take heed of authorities' instructions if it is safe to go back home. Don't go home unless you are instructed to do so. If given a go signal that you can already go back home, don't forget to use respiratory protection as you clean your area. All the more, inspect the outside of your home first before entering. Grave damages on the outside of your home can be a manifestation that the inside is in serious problem. If, upon inspection, you see no severe damages, proceed with checking inside. Ashes from your roofs must be removed as early as possible as they are heavy and may cause structural collapse, especially during rainy seasons. Keep your skin covered while cleaning to avoid irritation from contact with ash. 7. Stay tuned for local alerts and information. Wait for further announcements as regards the current state of the volcano. Listen to instructions from your local radio stations. If advised to stay indoors, take heed of that unless they tell you it is already safe to go outside. Lo and behold, those are 7 of the risk reduction strategies before, during, and after a volcanic eruption you should take heed of. Though volcanic eruptions can be a fearsome phenomenon to reckon, with adequate knowledge and careful application of these risk reduction strategies, you may not be fully guaranteed safety by following these. Be that as it may. What you are guaranteed of is having the risk of the hazards that the volcanic eruption can bring about, minimized. Follow these to help keep you and your loved ones safe. Enjoy the video. Please subscribe and click the icon so that you'll get notified every time I post a new informative video like this. Don't forget to like this video and share it to your favorite social media account. Thank you.